Hello guys. So they are doing coordination compounds and that a UPAC nomenclature of coordination compounds. Uh, in the previous two videos I discussed uh, four steps that we must follow to write the name of any coordination compound. Uh, step one what do you do first? You will find the complex type. Uh, next what do you do? You will find oxidation state by using the ligands table and then you will apply some basic rules that's all you don't have to complicate so much it's very simple uh, so if you have understood that four steps you're done with IU back nomenclature it's very simple uh, so I'm not sure how far I'm able to convince you uh, but uh, please uh, please go through the videos again again uh, practice those you will be having doubts for sure please get back to me message me I'll reply I may not reply immediately but when I see the message I'll take some time and reply to you okay uh, please uh, don't hide your doubts just clarify your doubts if you have doubts please clarify uh, yes now let's practice some examples for IUPAC nomenclature uh, this is the last video on IUPAC nomenclature okay yes uh, I'll do question number one uh, what is the question number one I would say question number one from the table what are the question number one from the table can you please help me out yes right so I get CO NH3 5 times CL square bracket CL2 if at all you see clearly this is my cation so this is my anion so if I divide this what I get CO NH3 5 times CL square bracket uh, plus CL minus I will be having there are two CL minus so this is minus two charge total so this should be plus two charge this is plus two charge so first one this is which complex cationic complex therefore my rule will be alphabetical arrangement of ligands plus metal plus oxidation state in the bracket this is the pattern if it was anionic complex what could be different same thing alphabetical arrangement of ligands metal is same but only thing is we'll be adding here 8 that's all 8 that's the only difference between cationic and anionic so therefore I don't use 8 here because cationic complex so step 1 cationic complex oxygen state if you calculate it will be plus 3 I'm not doing it it will be plus 3 so write the name now write the name so what I get so first ligands in the alphabetical order uh, what are the ligand we have here we have amine ligands how many are there five are there i have chloride a or m which one come first l a and c so amine first so it will be penta amine chlorido chlorido Hmm. then metal ligands what this is ligands then metal is what cobalt uh, please help me should I write cobalt or cobaltate I should write cobalt why because it's cationic complex if it is anionic it should have written cobaltate so I write only cobalt oxygen state is 3 Roman number 3 plus 3 so always you get state of oxidation plus only if you get minus you gone wrong be careful so you get always plus charge only cobalt this is my cation now anion name simple simple ion no? this is so that's what you call this one outside chloride so read the name once pentamine chlorido cobalt 3 chloride is the IUPAC name of this complex let's go for question number example 3 question number 7 the question number 7 is what yes right 
zero en twice cl2 plus one charge oh look at this here you don't have to divide into ions because they only give you directly ion so this is which complex this is cationic complex cationic complex so what is the rule of the cationic complex alphabetical rearrangement of ligands okay followed by metal followed by oxygen so simple this is a pattern we have so let's find a name uh, can you find the oxygen state if you want yes i want cobalt so that is x plus en how many en are there two are there but en is which ligand which ligand please verify and tell me sorry yeah. if you verify and see clearly en is a neutral ligand so therefore i get zero plus two into cl what is the cl charge minus one is equal to what plus one which means i'll be having what so minus two total it become plus two this side so total will be x is equal to what plus three that is plus three so thus oxidation state of cobalt is plus three now let's go for the final name uh, so only cation we have there's no anion so there's no anionic part so because this ion is given we must end the name as ion we must write end as ion okay what ion is this one name uh, so what do you call this one ethane 1 comma 2 diamine en means ethane 1 comma 2 diamine this is chloride which one come first c or e c come first so how many are there two so di chlorido agreed we know that di chlorido now should i use di should i use di ethane 1 comma 2 diamine ligands done followed by metal is what cobalt or cobaltate should be cobalt why because cationic complex cobalt roman number will be 3 ok so look at this I should not use di di could have been right for every time but not for this why because the name itself ligand has the name di therefore because you had di here I should not use di trilinum I should use which one bis same by add s so together name it di chlorido bis ethane 1 comma 2 diamine cobalt 3 ion is the IUPAC name of this compound di chlorido bis ethane 1 comma 2 diamine cobalt 3 ion so remember when to use bis tris all those when the ligand name itself contain ditrite then we should use bis okay yes now let's go for example number sorry four example four the question number five i'm taking is so what the example five okay two uh, zn sorry oh four times can you divide please yes if you divide we get k plus plus uh, zinc oh four times because there are two k plus we get two k plus here so total is plus two charge this should be now minus two charge so which complex is this this is my anionic complex this is my complex so this is called as anionic complex so my complex is anionic complex what the pattern we have alpha ligands plus metal don't forget because anionic we should use eight then will be oxygen of metal 
So what I get name. Uh, let's find out the oxygen state. I want to find out zinc that is X plus uh, 4 into OH. What is the OH charge? Minus 1 is equal to what? Total minus 2. X is equal to what? Minus 2 become minus 4 become plus 4. So total is equal to plus 2. So zinc will have plus 2 state. Now what I get? Name it. Now see this. This is cation. This is anion. So cation is very simple. No? What is the cation name here? Potassium. That's all. It's outside. Potassium. But anion name is big because that's why I'm writing big line. Check out. So how to write? Mm, only one ligand I have. I don't have to arrange the alphabetical order. So how many ligand? Tetra. Name is what? Hydroxido. Be careful. We call as hydroxido. Zinc 8. Am I right? Zinc 8. State is what? Roma number 2. Put it together. Potassium tetrahydroxido zinc A2 is the IUPAC name of this compound. Okay. Next one. Now let's say question number 14. Question number 14 is what from my worksheet? Yeah. I have sodium. I have AU. I have CN twice. So we divide. I'll divide as NA plus plus AU CN twice. Because this plus one charge, this should be minus one charge. So what complex is this? This simple ion, but this is complex. So my complex is what? Anion. So this is anionic complex. What is the rule of anion complex? Alpha ligands metal 8 OS in the bracket format yes right so name it now what option is it here gold x plus 2 into cyanide is equal to minus 1 I hope you know this charge of cyanide by this time it is actually minus 1 so minus 2 become plus 2 this side so is equal to plus 1 so gold will have what state plus 1 state Okay, right. So what I get now? Name it. Uh, name will have cation name followed by anion name. Cation is small line I'm writing. Why? Because simple cation. And I'm writing big line because it's a big complex. Yes. So what is the simple name here? Sodium. No complication. Now what about next one? Uh, there are two ligands. How many? Right? Di. Cyanido, we know that cyanide color, cyanido again. Now tell me, should I write gold or R? Anionic, I should write R8. So R8, A U R A T R8. Roman number will be 1. So name is what now? Sodium dicyanido R8 1 is the IUPAC name of this complex. Okay, yes. Next question number 24. I'm doing. Uh, I told you there's a correction, so please make it proper. K3 should be outside, so Fe Cn6. Okay, so if you see clearly, this is my cation, this is my anion. So my complex is what anionic complex, no doubt this is minus 3 charge this is plus 3 charge so x plus 6 into minus 1 is cyanide is equal to minus 3 so therefore x is equal to plus 3 meaning iron will have plus 3 state so what name of this one now simple cation complex cation is simple so I should write as uh, potassium now ligand name is given as cyanide. So how many are there? Hexa cyanide cyanide should write iron or ferrite? If it is cationic, it should be written as iron. But this is anionic. I should write as ferrite. State is what? 3. 
so potassium hexacyanide ferrite is the IUPAC name of this complex done go for the next example quickly example 7 I'm taking as question number 8 so question number 8 is what yes Ni CO4 square bracket so no ions meaning what this is non ionic so rules are simple like cationic complex the rules are alpha ligands metal oxygen state no 8 8 won't be used 8 is used only for anionic complex so what I got tetra to the 4 what do you call them CO is what carbonyl tetra carbonyl or a metal name nickel so nickel should I use nickel 8 or nickel nickel one because it's similar to cationic complex nickel uh, what oxygen state because this neutral complex if you find calculation x plus 4 co is what are 0 0 so this is equal to total 0 0 is the answer you should write 0 don't forget you must write 0 also oxygen state so name is what tetra carbonyl nickel zero is the IU pack name of the complex number eight okay next one example eight question number nine I'm taking so platinum NH3 twice NO2 then CL square bracket which complex no ions so non ionic so this is neutral complex so rules are similar to cationic complex meaning what alpha ligands metal and oxygen in the bracket what I get ligands ah, see how many ligands are there this is amine so a yeah. this is nitrito n i t r i nitrito N should write. Be careful. NO2 if they write as ONO, it is called as nitrito. O. If they write as just NO2, this is called as nitrito N. ONO means what? Nitrito O. If they write NO2 directly, it's called as nitrito N. This is what chlorido. Which one come first? A first. C next. Then will be N. So next, what is the name then? Uh, Di Amine agreed Chlorido Chlorido then Nitrito Nitrito hyphen N Nitrito so all the ligands are accounted diamine chlorido nitrito n ligands are done then what after ligands metal what is the metal name platinum platinum now final one what is the oxygen state here i want x plus ammonia is zero anyway and what is what charge check out please check out this and what is what charge minus one charge cell is what charge minus one charge is equal to what zero total is equal to plus two therefore this will be roman number two so name will be diamine chlorido nitro n platinum two is the iupac name of this complex okay next one question number nine sorry question number 12 example nine uh, what is that question number 12 Mm, yes, I should write as AG NH3 twice AG CN twice. So a bit tricky because my cation also complex, my anion also complex. But it's very simple if you see properly. We should use rules of cationic complex here. We should use rules of anionic complex. What is the meaning of this one? Alpha ligands, metal, oxygen state. Simple. 
This is an ion, you know. All polygons, metal, and elements water. I should add extra eight. Followed by oxygen. That's all. Nothing else. So let's divide this one now. Let's name it. There are two amines. So di amine. Am I right? Ah, uh, should I use silver or argent? Argented. Because only metal, not eight. So I should use only silver. Silver. I don't know oxygen state. Hold on for some time. So this is my cation. What about anion? Di cyanido. You know that di cyanido. I should not use silver now. I should use what? Argentate. I don't have space there. I'm writing down. Argentate. Argentate. Yes. We should have oxygen state. See this. Silver always show plus one oxygen state. So you can just blindly write here one one. Otherwise, if silver is plus one, I mean I know silver is plus one. What could be here? The total top. If silver is plus one. Silver is plus one. What could be here on top? See this. It is plus one. We know ammonia is zero. So plus one zero should be equal to what? Plus one. Therefore, this plus one. So this is plus one charge. If this plus one charge, what should be this one then? Minus one charge. So minus one here. If we do this way also, you get plus one. But remember, always silver shows plus one oxygen state. What the name? Final name. Diamine silver one, disaenido, argentate one is the IU pack name. Okay, yes. So question number twenty three. Question number twenty three. Uh, Na two. So square bracket. Ni. E D T A square bracket. So this is which type of complex? Anionic complex. What of state of oxidation? This is X. E D is minus four is equal to. This is plus two. Therefore, this is equal to minus two. X is equal to what then? Plus two. So state of oxidation is plus two. Name it now. So the most simple one. Sodium is the cation, and in what then? What is it here? Check out ethylene diamine tetra acetato. Not a space there. Nickel or nickelate? Nickelate. Be careful. Nickelate. State will be Roman number two. So sodium, ethylene, diamine, tetra, acetato, nickelate two is the IUPAC name of the compound. So last one. Uh, so before I do last one, I want to tell you. Uh, please complete the assignment questions and remaining questions of nomenclature in the worksheets. So you will be mastering the nomenclature if you be uh, if you are thorough with this complexes. Okay, question number twenty, last one. What is that? So Na three NCO NO six. It is sodium because cation is simple. My anion is what? There are six ligands, so hexa. What do you call NO? If you see table, I will give you nitrosyl. So hexa nitrosyl, cobalt or cobalt eight? It should be cobalt eight because anionic complex. If you find instead of oxygen, you get three. So name will be sodium hexa 
nitrosyl cobaltate 3 so this is about your IUPAC nomenclature of coordination compounds okay so thank you guys uh, I'm taking some time here to make videos please use the videos effectively and uh, there were some problems about audios in the last video I tried to improve this I don't have the best uh, let's say uh, recording system I, we can't even buy from outside right now because of lockdown so but still if at all you have any more problems please get back to me okay thank you guys yeah.